So this whole next section of the presentation is going to be about methodologies of mind control, consciousness control, how to control what you think, how you feel, and how you act. Okay, the methods of manipulation that are employed against us, members of the human species, by people who have this occultic knowledge and use it for their own egoic benefit. I call this the methods of manipulation, and as many researchers have called it, particularly uh, Michael Tessarian has termed this the war on you. Because it's the only real war that's being waged out there. There isn't a war on poverty. There isn't a war on homelessness. There isn't a war on ignorance. There isn't really a war on terrorism. There is only a war on you and your consciousness. That's what the real war that's being waged on earth is, is really being waged upon. It's the war on your consciousness, on your mind. So we're going to look at the methods of manipulation. And they're, they're very varied in their attack pattern. They're very, um, uh, it's multi-tiered, okay? It's very um, spread out and throughout all different areas of life, these, these methods of manipulation. So it's a multi-tiered attack on our consciousness. And I've chosen 14 of what I consider the most prominent methods of manipulation to go through in the presentation. And I've chosen 14 as a symbolic number, which we'll get into later and you'll understand why. But here's, here's what the methods of manipulation are that are used against us. Obfuscation, worldview poisoning, the exploitation of primal fears, the divide and conquer technique, indoctrination through what we call the education system, controlled opposition, the financial system, the monetary system, the control of mass media and information, food and medicine in quotes, the illusion of time, the denial hassle ridicule factor, what I coined the DHR factor, Religion, specifically religion as binding, which we will get into. The use of symbolism in a mentally subversive way, in a mentally subversive fashion. And what I call chaos sorcery. Uh, what other researchers have called the uh, problem reaction solution method or the Hegelian dialectic. So I'll be taking the first uh, 11 of them up to the DHR factor, it will be a small um, uh, analysis of each one. But then for the last three, uh, religion, symbolism, and chaos sorcery, uh, I consider those the real heavy guns of the war, so to speak. They're the real weapons, the, the big three of the weapons, and uh, I'll, I'll be taking those at length. Uh, I'll be going through those specifically. So that will take up the bulk of part two.